Go. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good, I like that. The Doctor Saves Christmas was written and filmed in the same week, whereas the other ones took weeks and weeks of correcting and changing bits. I didn't want this episode to be so Christmassy that you couldn't watch it throughout the year because there is usually quite a big gap between Ginger Doctor episodes. This episode was definitely the best quality, like visually and audioally. We dubbed the whole thing, I think it came out pretty good. How close do you want me? Like from here? Here. Here. Hello. Um. Hello, you've reached the Doctor's phone. Unfortunately, he's probably very busy doing something pretty heroic and brilliant. Hello, you've reached the Doctor's phone. Unfortunately, he's probably very busy doing something pretty heroic and brilliant. Vortis was a town called Deal on their beach because I thought rocks look more alien than the sand in Ramsgate, in my opinion. Welcome to Vortis. That was a good part. So there's supposed to be a boat in it. Look, Vortis has pigeons. The beach is on a bit of a slant, so there's a hill of rocks, and I thought with a bit of camera trickery, I thought we could make it look like there's a, a landscape of rocks behind the Doctor. It didn't really work out like that, so I had to kneel so we could cut the town out of the background. But I think it worked. I don't think you'll ever notice. Well, you will now when you go back and watch it. There's the Nubian just doing his hat. Come in. Filming in the TARDIS is always a, a pleasure. I mean, I'm only talking right now so we can show this footage of the TARDIS as it wasn't used very much. <clears throat> That's the tallest I know in love. Something I want to bring special attention to is my directing, and I've never shown you this before. This is what Kai has to translate. Because if we can sort of balance the camera there, and then I pull up all these shits, just chugging behind me. Mm -hmm. So I thought you could come down from the sky, so you hear the hear and then but before you get to see the tallest, you hear the doo, the landing. Door opens, Maggie runs out. This was the first episode to introduce the Whovian's Marm, portrayed by Maggie. Her crying was very authentic and convincing. Right, whenever you're ready. And hilarious. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the end off. I mean, I can't look at the deodorant and a camera at the same time. No. That's all for now. I hope you've had a really great Christmas, and I want you to have a fantastic 2017, and 2018, and 2019, and 